So the game I'm playing with Victoria is these three products I just mentioned are <laughs> three of the top HA forward formulas you'll find if you just do a quick Google. So without telling her which ingredient list is what product, I want to ask her, which one would you choose? I'm listening. <clears throat> Number one, mm. this in this product, without going to percentages, uh, the ingredient list reads something like water, sodium hyaluronate at the second location, pentylene glycol, propane dial, uh, sodium hyaluronic cross polymer, okay. panthenol, uh, some extract, glycerin, EDTA, citric acid, yada, yada, yada. Candidate number one. Okay. Candidate number two. Very, very, very short ingredient list. Water, glycerin, sodium hyaluronate, phenoxyethanol. You can ignore the rest because they're all preservatives. Wow. Pass on that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Candidate number three. Water, propane diol, sodium hyaluronate, glycerin, butylene glycol, phenoxy, yada, 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 and some peptides at the end. Uh, there, I should mention it's a palmitoyl tetrapeptide 7, palmitoyl tripeptide 1. Oh. <laughs> Victoria looks a little unimpressed with L3. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was like, at first, I was like, oh, the first one, I was like, okay, panthenol, nice. Mm -hmm. But now the one I nix, I'm like, oh, but at least I get glycerin. Yes, <laughs> I do like that. But then the like, third one, blend of humectants, like mm -hmm. you get propylene. I'd probably propylene. go the third one, mm -hmm. but not because of peptides. <laughs> yes. So actually, I don't that, know what that is. That is fantastic that Victoria picked that up because so number one, um, the one with sodium hyaluronate in the second spot is the um the ordinary two percent. Mm. Um, it has a cross polymer, a propane dial, pentylene glycol. That like, it is a blend of humectants. To me, I'm like. I am skeptical of how how much humectant is in there just because sodium hyaluronate is at the second spot mm. and it doesn't look that gunky. So it's either using a smaller one or there's actually not a lot of anything in there. The second one, like we tried to mention, wow, it's vanilla. <laughs> it does have glycerin, which is cool. Um, it is, but what does it do? <laughs> and that one's the Kiehl's. So for me, if is the, that the most expensive one? Oh yes. yeah, that's the way more expensive yes. one. So for me, without going to the details, just looking at it, I'd buy it if it's at the ordinary price point. Yeah, I'm like guys. Yeah, it's a very <laughs> simple formula. This is not wow. Number three is the inky list. Um, so for me, that one's kind of interesting because that one touts two percent sodium hyaluronate or hyaluronic acid, and also touts that it has matrixyl three thousand, and that's the two peptides at the end. And I'm sitting here like, you know, I don't care how much sodium hyaluronate you got in there, but you should tell me how much matrixyl is in here because that doesn't mean anything that matrixyl exists in here at a mysterious percentage. But matrixyl. <laughs> Just here. <laughs> so, Cat sneeze worth, most likely. <laughs> exactly. So for me, I'm like, well, you know, as a transparent brand, why do you choose not to disclose matrixyl? Anyway, that's like the three products out there that if you Google hyaluronic acid serum, these Lord, three will pop up. They didn't want you to read that far. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they were like, like Hyaluronic acid. Here, here, here. here. <laughs> you see matrixyl oh, over here too. Ooh, hyaluronic acid. So much hyaluronic acid. <laughs> yeah. So this is to highlight that. Yeah, I think hyaluronic acid forward formulas they can be helpful, but at the end of the day, all three of these, whichever one you've used, whichever one you try, they are just hydrators. They can be great hydrators, but just don't like. It's not. Yeah. First of all, mm. I should also mention this game. I felt like I was forced at gunpoint to choose a product. <laughs> I did not. Yeah, yeah I, it I is not like I had an option to say none of the above. Mm -hmm. But I would say there are a lot of other great hydrating serums out there mm -hmm. that are better than these three. Yeah, I think these are pretty simple formulas. And maybe the takeaway here is, well, if you want to try something that's a very simple hydrator, does nothing else, go with the one with the coupon. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So I think that's a great um, walkthrough of these single ingredient hyaluronic acid serums. Um, as we go through some more of these moisturizing ingredients in these upcoming weeks, um, we'll focus on other humectants. But really, we, we do recommend if you are looking for that oil free humectant forward um, serum, there's definitely a lot more and you want a blend of all yeah. these good guys. Yeah. You're just missing out if you only focus on one. Yeah, exactly. And I think for me, like, um, the, as we go through the next few episodes, we'll definitely highlight the ones that have more clinical data, the good humectants, the interesting humectants. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like Victoria said, you're definitely looking for at least two or three in your yeah. routine. Something else I should mention anecdotally that we hear from our fans or see online is that because HA is in everything, some people have mentioned that they suspect that there's too much HA in their routine. So again, do a quick inky, totally. like, go through your ingredient list. If it's in your 
toner, three serums, like moisturizer, cream, maybe it is a little bit too much HA. <laughs> totally possible. Um, if you want to actively add HA into your routine, you're looking at it in the moist in moisturizers. It's great, but definitely make sure in your moisturizer you're also getting a good balance of your emollients and occlusives. Remember, uh, in a good moisturizer, it takes all three yeah. to really um, cover all of your moisturizing needs. And then finally, if you are looking at hyaluronic acid for anti-aging, please look for a clinical. Some of these anti-aging hyaluronic acid serums get so expensive for no reason. Yeah, no yeah. Reason. yeah. I think the one that we mentioned way back in the day is SkinCeuticals has a product called HA Intensifier. Mm. That one had a couple of pretty intensive clinicals, including biopsies that looked at HA content in the skin. We feel like unless you've done something like that, they don't get to be called anti-aging. <laughs> <laughs> We're not mad. We're not annoyed. Not at all. 